Hello everyone, in this episode of Ingram Pro Screencast, I will tell you about dynamic components. I generated a simple component banner that I would like to load dynamically. I want to highlight here that in our module there is no any declaration, so it will, it will be not compiled in our main bundle file. What do we need to do to load this com dynamic component or load it dynamically? Here I have a button that calls load method and in the load method we need to load our component. First we need to dynamically load our component class file. So with help of dynamic import and it's asynchronous so we obviously need to use await here and for method async. Now we have our banner component class and this help of component factory resolver that we also need to inject. We can get its factory, so com banner component factory. And now last step is to output the component. And for this we also need view, our view container. We provide factory here. And let's see. We loaded the banner and also extra request was sent, so it was compiled to separate file. Also there is a common question, what if I would like to output it not just to the bottom of this component, but somewhere like here in between and maybe this div. For this we can use known practice like a host directive. So I created a simple directive here and I can use it like a marker to highlight where do I want to output my dynamic component. We need to use structural directive here to make it possible to use view, view container of this directive. And to get it, we'll use view child, select our directive, but we don't need the whole directive, so we will use read option and read from injector only our view container ref. And now instead of component view, we can use our host view. And the same factory. And as you see, we load our component exactly where we want it.